Welcome to a Pixlr project. This video is going to look at how to blend two photographs together using a layer mask. And this is the, the finished picture of a dog looking through a fence in a garden. And these are the two pictures that I started with. A garden terrace and a dog looking through a fence. So if you're following my Pixlr tutorials, this video would accompany Lesson 8, the layer mask. Check the description for a link to the Pixlr playlist of tutorials. Let's get started on this one. So let's go close this to both of them and create a new image. And we'll just call it Dog in Fence. And it needs to be 800 by 534. Now open up one of the images as a new layer. So open images layer and open up the garden terrace. And the reason we made the image 800 times 534 is that's the size of the, uh, the main image. Uh, new layer. And open the dog looking through the fence. Then with the move tool, move it to the top right of the picture and add a layer mask. So as soon as we do that, the dog will disappear. And on that layer, I've got the two ways to select. I can select the dog there, and that's the layer mask there. And what the, the, the layer mask is doing is hiding the dog. The dog is hidden behind this background image here, layer one. Or well, the dog is hidden behind the layer one image. And we're going to use the brush to paint over this image, to paint over layer one and bring the dog through. And then tidy it up with the clone stamp. Select a small brush. So I've got 50 here and a soft edged brush. So it, mel it blends a little easier. And um, perhaps bring the opacity down a bit and not touch these ones. So then just start painting over the area. I know that the dog is here and it's probably still too big that brush, so go a bit smaller. And I don't want to go too far over here, for example, because now I'm going too far into that fence. I don't really want to go into that fence at all. So if you let's move the history up here, can undo with the history, I can now get that back. If I do small brush strokes and keep letting go, then it's a bit easy to undo rather than keeping your finger on the left mouse button and painting and painting and, and, and until you make a mistake. Then when you undo it, you can undo a lot more. So we know it's down here somewhere and I only want to reveal a little bit of the dog's face. So it's still sort of still peeping behind that the um, garden wall. And leaving a bit of room here so I can use the clone stamp tool to blend it in with the sky and those shrubs so like about there and similarly on this side to blend it in with the sky and over here see I've gone too far here I really don't want to cover up the, the side of that house so I can go back undo till I get that part off and I really want to stop here. I'm going to blend it in with the bottom of the shrubs at the bottom here. So that's about enough there for bringing that through. 
and the rest is cleaning up to make sure everything is been revealed. We do a new layer and use the clone stamp tool to copy little bits of the image and blend in the edges a little better. So to use the clone stamp tool, you need to sample all layers so that it does go through to uh, the, the, the uh, layer one because it's got to go through a couple of layers. And uh, a small brush again, smaller than, than 30, than 50, smaller than 50 because I want to be able to do quite precise blends down here. And then you need to sample the area. So I want to put some of this blue sky and uh, shrubs just along the edge here so it doesn't look like, it looks like it's part of the, the background. So control click to sample that area, then holding the left mouse button down, just clicking to make that blue. I don't really want a hard edge. I do want some of that shrubbery, so you can and control click over the, the green so I can put some of that in. And this one. A bit more at the top here. And we'll do the same over here actually and put in some shrubbery over here instead of this, the sky. So control click this bit and put some green in here. And now down the bottom, so to blend in the bottom with these shrubs. So I can control click this part and then just fill in under the dog's chin. Just got to keep resampling it so it's looking natural and watching where so if I control click as I'm stamping watch where the source is. So the source is here on the right and if, it, if I keep going too far over we don't want the source to end up cloning part of the house. You've got to keep watching it. And it's got to do the garden wall. So control click to clone. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. And then it would save that image. As a JPEG or, or, or whatever you want. So there it is, we've used the layer mask to blend two images together. That's all for this video.